So we've just come off the slopes after our first day in the Rosier and it was absolutely amazing. The weather today has just been unbelievable, blue skies, sunshine, the forecast wasn't that great for today so we weren't holding out too much hope but it was just the best day skiing. Um, the snow conditions over here are absolutely awesome. Um, it feels more like sort of January, February conditions on the slopes at the moment than it does a few days away from April which is absolutely fantastic. Um, this morning we sort of just stayed around the La Rosier area a bit which was nice for me because I've never actually been to this area before so it was good for me to sort of get my bearings and have a little look around the Rosier which I found really really lovely. Um, did some nice little tree runs down to the bottom, had a little look at all the kids runs which are super cute. So then after this morning in La Rosier then we then headed over to Italy into La Tuile. Um, skiing over there also really really nice. We stopped for lunch of course in Italy, had lots of pasta which was absolutely amazing um, and yeah we just really really enjoyed our day today. Couldn't really have asked for anything better, the views have just been spectacular, the pieces have been absolutely awesome and La Rosier I'm very much enjoying it. Because La Rosier is quite a small town, it doesn't have that many beds, which means that the slopes generally don't get as crowded as they might do in other resorts. Um, we found today that the slopes have just been super empty, um, which has been really, really nice for us, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the snow um, without that many people around, which has been absolutely great. Trying ski touring tomorrow, so that should be a really interesting experience for me. I've never tried ski touring before, so I'll keep you updated on how that goes. I'm sure it will be pretty funny. Yeah, you still set for that? So one of the reasons why we're here in La Rosière this week is to check out the new ski area that's going to be opening next season. So this is just going to be on the right of the ski area if you're looking at it on a map now. Um, it's a really nice bowl of snow. So they're going to be adding two new chairlifts and five new pistes. Both of the chairlifts will be six-seater chairlifts and the pistes will all be red runs. Uh, so this should add a really nice little intermediate area to the mountain. Uh, La Rosière is quite beginner friendly as it is. Um, but they can definitely benefit from the addition of some new intermediate pieces, and also opening this new area is going to provide a lot more off-piece opportunities. Apparently at the moment it's a really nice area for off-piece anyway, so by adding in these pieces and these lifts it's going to make it a lot more accessible and there's going to be a lot more free ride and off-piece terrain available to explore. So yeah, we're very excited about this. We took a little trip over there today. Um, we were supposed to ski tour all the way up to the mountain and sort of ski down the new area, but conditions didn't really let us do that so instead we sort of traversed across had a little look at it and then traversed back again did some ski touring a bit lower down where the visibility was a bit better the new area does look really nice it's quite steep which is quite good for more intermediate skiers that want a bit more of a challenge um, and I think it'll be a really exciting development for La Rosier so can't wait to come back next year and see it did some ski touring today as well which was really really interesting I've never done ski touring before so it was a new experience for me. I uh, had a few little slips, but on the whole, <laughs> got the hang of it quite quickly, I'd say. Um, we went up through the forest, which was really beautiful, really lovely. It's a really great way of just getting out and spending time outside when maybe you don't feel like skiing. I really enjoyed it because it was something a little bit different. If you've skied your whole life, you might want to try it because it's just a different way of getting out in the snow and really, really enjoyable all the same. It's quite a workout, definitely had a bit of a sweat on. <laughs> Going uphill was quite quite tiring, but you know you reap the benefits. You get to go back down afterwards, so it's all good. <laughs> Tomorrow morning we've got the first Trax VIP experience. So what this means is you wake up really super early and get on the slopes for 7:30, which should be exciting. And you get the whole mountain to yourself basically before everyone else gets on it. So you got a few lifts up and down, do a few runs, have the fresh tracks, and then you go for breakfast in a mountain restaurant. So really looking forward to that. Okay, so it's Tuesday morning now, and it's our last morning here, which is very sad. Um, but we have had the most amazing morning. The snow conditions in the La Rosier today are absolutely awesome. So it was great just to get up out there by ourselves, uh, enjoy the piece with no one else on them. Afterwards, you go for breakfast in a really, really nice restaurant on the slopes called Lantigel, which is also where we ate lunch yesterday. Um, so really good food, 
both lunch and breakfast but <laughs> were really really great would highly recommend the first tracks vip experience is only 35 euros so if you are in the rosier this season or next season and you fancy having the whole mountain to yourself for a few hours just before everyone else wakes up definitely would recommend it the weather for us today wasn't the greatest um, but it did clear up sort of towards the end of the morning and we had some really really nice runs very sad to leave the rosier this afternoon but i will definitely be back i've really really enjoyed my few days in this resort it's got a lot to offer i think and i definitely am looking forward to trying out the new area next season